Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am starting my best of 2018 favorites video. This is the first video in the series. I'm doing my best eyeshadow palettes of 2018. I chose 18 being in the spirit of it being 2018 for the last couple of days. Quick announcement though, I will be out of town for three weeks. I've just got a lot going on. I won't be at my house for three weeks. So I'm going to try and film a bunch of these videos in different categories and then throughout the three weeks that I'm gone, I hope to get these favorite videos up for you guys and I'll probably be wearing the same thing. I'm trying to just knock them out so I can have stuff to upload for you guys while I'm gone. That aside, unlike most of my videos, this isn't ranking. This is in no particular order. I just picked out 18 of the palettes that I feel I happened to use the most this year. There's a lot of other great palettes that I got to use, but I could only pick 18. Some of you guys may be able to guess the stuff, but anyway, so the first one is the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition Palette. You guys know how I feel about Pat McGrath. Now, all of her eyeshadows, if I could, I would put them in this video, but I didn't want to bore you guys, so I just picked a couple of my favorites, but just know her eyeshadow palettes are my staples. They're just such good colors that I go for, and uh, for every day, I just can't help but go for these. And the looks I create for it being so neutral, I find to be so beautiful. I especially love this warm brown color over here. They blend like butter. This is an amazing palette. If you're going to not spend the big money on the big ones and you want to buy one of the $55 ones, I definitely would recommend this. I think most people will get the use out of it and it's just beautiful. The formula is beautiful and I love this palette. All right, so for the next one, you guys have definitely heard me talk about this before, but I absolutely love it. This is the New Nude by Huda Beauty. This is the most gorgeous palette ever. I don't want to talk too much about it just because she's so great. She is so beautiful. I'm really into the fact that it has pressed glitters in here and just the amount of different textures in this palette is what makes me love it and the tones are just beautiful pinky mobs and I love pink eyeshadow looks so this is a palette for me. If you don't like pinks, you probably won't like this but it's a beautiful formula, beautiful textures and all around definitely, definitely one of my top 18 palettes. Next we have something that you guys are actually the ones who convinced me to get the ABH Sultry Palette. Love this guy. First of all, the packaging cannot be beat. The colors, great for every day. I love a shimmery eye look and I mean, this got all the shimmers that I need for an everyday look. Every look I create, I find to be just so stunning, so breathtaking. So just by looking at this palette, initially I was like, I have all of those colors, but there's something special about just the way that they're arranged in this one palette. It's just such a good everyday palette and I've really been into this and of course, you know, ABH has a great formula. All right, so this next one I don't think I've actually talked too much on my channel about, but I've secretly been loving it, you know, on my off YouTube days. And this is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Now, this is actually more of a plain palette. It took me a while to pick it up. I didn't buy it when it first released. I bought it when it released at Ulta and I saw it in person. And oh my goodness, the shades in this are so buttery smooth. I am super in love with Espresso right here. This is the most beautiful color to put all over your lid. It has a beautiful glitter to it that doesn't fall off on your eyes. This is just a thoughtless palette, meaning I can grab it and just throw it on and whatever look I create, I don't have to think about and it looks good. Every single color in this palette goes with each other. So yeah, this is, you know, a YouTuber company and I am super in love with this palette. Speaking of which, I just bought the Berries and Cream palette. I haven't played with it. Can't really talk about it too much, but I'm so excited. But this was an amazing palette. This was a great one to do for her first launch. Moving on, we have the Too Faced Ginger gingerbread spice palette. Again, something that I haven't talked about too much. It is a newer release, but I just really love the colors in it. I love how warm it feels for the holidays. I love the formula Too Faced decided to go with in this palette. I just feel like they need to make all of their palettes with this formula because the shimmers are so metallic. The mattes just blend really well. I don't know. I just really, really like the palette and um, sometimes Too Faced can end up on my poo-poo list, but that one was definitely a thumbs up for me. All right, I'm just going to get this out of the way and not gonna talk about it too much, but of course the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I mean, if you watch my channel, I probably have mentioned it in every single video, so I'm just gonna keep it moving, but this is definitely on my list. Okay, and next up, a palette I don't think I've ever talked about on my YouTube channel, but I have done one of my most favorite looks ever and an IG tutorial using the I Love Star He and Joseph Colors collaboration. To be honest, everybody kind of created the same look when this palette came out. They all kind of look the same, but the quality, you cannot deny the quality, and I've just been so in love with this shimmers and 
this blue is amazing. I don't know. I just really, really liked this palette a lot. Way more than I thought I was going to for it being just a six pan palette, but it is good. Okay, so next we have the Vizzy Art Grande Pro Volume 1. This is just a collection of every necessary matte that I need when I do bridal makeup. Not only on others, but I do love this on myself as well. Vizzy Art has such quality, high-grade eyeshadows, and this is bomb. I love this palette. It's really expensive, but it was definitely, well actually, it was a birthday present for me, but it definitely is worth the investment if you're thinking about it just because these are so amazing and you can never have too many matte shadows. I'm such a hypocrite because I love shimmer shades and I love buying all shimmer palettes, but honestly, I always use more mattes than I use shimmers, and this is just, if you have this, you don't need any other palette for mattes because this is amazing. It has all your neutrals. It has a few fun pops of colors. The quality is fabulous. I'm not mentioning the Grande Pro 2 in this video. I do love that one as well, but this one was honestly just a staple for me throughout the year. Next, this is an old release. I don't think you can get it anymore but I was in love with this. This is the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. She looks so expensive. Now this, if you have a deeper skin tone, this probably isn't the palette for you, but to be quite honest, on my pale skin tone, this was amazing. I used this a lot when I was living in college uh, when I would do other girls' makeup. It's because it had just the most beautiful pops of color and simple eye colors that people really go for. Very flattering. For such an affordable palette, this was amazing, and this got a lot of use for me this year. I don't think I've talked about it too much, but it's, it's fabulous. <laughs> okay, this is the Pat McGrath Mothership Volume 5. I have a thousand other videos on it on how much I love it. It's like my favorite palette, period. <laughs> um, let me not sound like a broken record. All right, on to the next one. So this one is actually on sale right now because I don't think it's sold very well. But for some reason, I was obsessed with this palette this year. And this is the MAC Queen Supreme Palette. So they're trying to get rid of it. So if you want to get it, I would suggest looking online right now. So personally, there were two shades in here that I really only use, but it was like an everyday look for me. Like I was using this every day for a while. So I used this beautiful gold all over my lid. I thought it was a really subtle everyday gold, but it had just enough sheen to where I was happy. I don't know. I just really liked how smooth this looked on my lid and also the highlight in here. I feel like it did not show any texture. It made my skin look so smooth, but still gave such a natural but glowy, what is that called? Glow from within glow. People slept on this palette. I loved this palette. I mean, I still love it. I haven't used it in a while though. This year, this went through it. I used this a lot. This was my everyday makeup look for a while. All right, so this palette was more so towards the beginning of the year that I used it, but nonetheless, this is such a good palette, and this is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. This definitely has gone through its time. Everybody was talking about it. Nobody's talking about it anymore, but I mean, this is just a legitimate, good quality palette. It has a lot of warm shades. No matter what you try to do, you're going to get a warm look with this. But the shadows just blend so beautifully. I feel like each shade has its own place in this palette. Every shade looks different on your eye. This is just a good palette. And again, uh, typically I would use all mattes on my eyes and then I would put a Stila glitter and glow all over my lid and the look was always perfection. So don't sleep on this palette. She's good quality, okay? Moving into another Huda palette. I have the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette. Okay, so mine slightly looks untouched, but I still like fantasize about all the looks I want to do with this palette just because this is my color scheme. Pinks, purples, reds, I don't know. The other Huda ones, my color scheme as well, apparently. Because, like, pinks and purples, you know, I love... Th I just love this palette. Again, Huda just does an amazing job with her layouts, and I like the quality, and I just really like looking at this palette and using it, and I don't know, I just like it, okay? Okay, so this next palette is from Too Faced again. Oh, wow, I feel like I had a lot of Too Faced palettes. But this is the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. This is, again, a formula that I'm crazy about. I love the super creamy pigmented shimmers in it. Now, there's only like three mattes in here and then just a bunch of shimmers. I love shimmers so I'm definitely not complaining but with the mattes you can't really get creative with that because you have a cream, a light brown, and a dark brown, and a black so there's four mattes. The rest you would kind of just have to do like 
a pop of shimmer. I feel like I don't get the most use out of all of the shimmers that I would like to, but I love this palette. Really gorgeous looks that I create with it every time, and very simple and very fast to work with. And she smells good. All right, so we have two ColourPop eyeshadows. I really got into ColourPop eyeshadow palettes this year. I think they're so tiny and so great for travel. So this first one is the Double Entendre love this one still use it i always bring it when i go to travel just because it has every neutral color it's so tiny it's so compact and the colors are very very simple they're very they're not overly pigmented which is kind of nice just because you can sweep them on without worrying about putting too much on and i don't know i've just really been into this one this is more of the beginning of the year kind of favorite for me but i really was into the cute af color pop one this was their first eyeshadow palette they ever came out with. Um, in the beginning, like the first half of the year, I was really into it. Not so much anymore, but she's beautiful. Still, really warm palette. If you don't want a warm color look, don't get this palette. For me, I feel like this palette really did inspire me to create a lot of looks. For a lot of palettes, that's all I ask for. I just want it to inspire me, and this one does. Alright, so coming up next, we have the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collaboration, their Frankation palette. This palette's amazing. That's all I gotta say. But the quality of this is so spot on the color choice of this spot on you have great beautiful neutrals shimmers are so soft and so pigmented and then you have these three amazing glitter colors which are great just all over lid colors it got a lot of good reviews but i don't think it got good enough reviews this is definitely in my top five for some reason i am so attached to this palette and it's not only just because of the packaging all right so this last one honestly of 2018 this is probably my most used, and it's so simple. It is the ABH Soft Glam. This is just my go-to everyday palette for most of the year. Now, I didn't use it every day because I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but if I was ever unsure about what to do, I would pull this guy out. It's just so easy to work with. I love every look that I come up with this. It has every single color that you need. It's a perfect wedding palette, a perfect everyday palette and you can create a lot of different types of looks with it as well so there's enough variety but it is still extremely extremely cohesive this was definitely a banger for me this year anyways um so that was my first video in my best of 2018 series i hope you guys enjoyed this video i want to know what your favorite palettes were this year so remember to comment down below subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next favorite video bye